Hi, ye puzzling pirates! Welcome back to another adventure on the high seas with Wolverstone. Today we're gonna go back to sword fighting because I'm a little bit tired of sailing, and uh, hopefully we will be able to beat this uh, person experienced Saddy uh, very quickly, and then move on to more interesting things. Why am I getting just a stupid, stupid amount of sword? What the? What is this? Was that like my entire sword supply for the entire game? What the hell? Oh, what am I supposed to do with all this? Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with all this stuff? <clears throat> I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get mad silver pieces now because she's getting all these swords as well. Now, uh, like I told you guys before, uh, you actually receive the same exact pieces and breakers as the opponent does. So, uh, it makes sense that she's been getting the same stuff, and that's why she's been sending me all, all this crap uh, here right from the outside of the game. Uh, what, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's see. Uh, we can place this there, and then we can place this there, and then we can place that there. And then uh, this can go right here. And then... Oh dear. Well, this is a pity. An accursed pity, I say, an accursed pity. As you know, I need to break apart these red ones so that I can go back to building good stuff. Uh, and unfortunately, this does not appear to be happening. These breakers are just not, not doing me any good. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, well, well, sick. Well, you know what? I might as well just like kill myself right now like in the game obviously no no you know what i you know what i meant i'm sorry that was uh not politically correct um uh, okay well this isn't too bad because i am still getting like massive amounts of swords to open up my sides but here comes another sword from her oh my god this is like this is a loused cows it's a loused cows we loused we loused i was pretty close but we loused uh, I think that was just not a very good game because the uh, amount of swords in the beginning completely threw me- What the- why does this keep happening? Have they changed up the game since I last played? I don't even understand what I'm supposed to build. Like, what, what am I supposed to build for my uh, big big boy block down here at the bottom? I don't even know. Uh, yellows? Is that what I should do? Just yellows? Okay, let's do- oh my- Oh, uh, well- Okay, hang on, hang on. I can still rectify this. Uh, okay, let's place that there. Okay, now we got now we got the yellows open. That's good. Uh, pfft. let's see. We can pop the greens on top here, and then we can place this there. And then what? We get the blue sword. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, la, 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 la. we can place that there. And then we need. Ah, oh, I should have dropped the green sword down here to clear these greens. Uh, I need to clear out these greens so I can continue building my block. I think this insta-kill is, once again, uh, completely <clears throat> knackered. Duh. Uh, that is a that is an accursed pity. Now these are connected, and here come the swords, and oh my god! Oh, and there goes that, like, thing I've been building, and everything is awful. Everything is awful! Everything just sucks when you block off your own red block! Everything is awful! I need to do a double. Oh my goodness, gracias. Oh, what is happening? Why am I being destroyed? Oh, I really wanted to double this one, but that's okay. At least I cleared my entire center up. That should probably sting on her end. Uh, it didn't look like it did anything. Okay, it threw down one sword over there, but I, I, I'm i back. I'm coming back. It's okay. I shouldn't have locked off those yellows with that red piece. That sucks. Uh, oh, perfect. I can clear out all the blues. Ba boom ba 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 bum Ooh, look at that. Look at that. We are populating her board. Oh, check this out. Okay, please, please. I just need a... Uh, oh, no. I wanted to do a double. I just needed a blue sword for the double. And there's the blue sword that I needed. Ah, that is an accursed pity. Accursed pity, I say. Oh, wait. Oh, I won! Ye be the victor! Woohoo! I was just about to double her really, really hard. Okay, so we need four more victories of this uh, before we can get our trophy, but you know what? I think we've done well so far. Let us see if we can do anything a little bit more interesting. So we have done sailing. Uh, blah, have we done carpentry? I kind of want to go back to sailing, but I've been doing sailing too much here. Hmm, I wonder if I should do rumble? Rumble, maybe? Uh, rumble? Yeah, yeah, let's do Rumble. Why not? So Rumble is the other uh, fighting game in this game. Uh, so sword fighting. Oh, nope, not sword fighting. Uh, when you play sword fighting, you play on swords. And when you play um, Rumble, you use fists slash bludgeons. So Rumble, you uh, immediately looking at this, you will have recognized something like this. It's like 
<coughs> super bust a move or bubble pop or I, I don't know what this game is called but essentially the the premise is pretty straightforward you just uh kind of pop all this stuff off and look at this i'm doing really well right from the get-go uh however do you remember when we did doubles and triples and all that stuff for the sword fighting game to send down swords and uh like yeah big things like that so in this game what you're supposed to do is this and i'll show you here in, in a second so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to charge up the balls like so and then you're supposed to burst them uh all at the very end when they're all ch oh well that was a mistake <laughs> uh, you're supposed to burst them all at the very end when they're all charged up and you've got a massively charged uh, thing going on So let me uh, do some charges here and show you what that looks like exactly uh, Normally I try to build up pretty much charges on every single color <clears throat> I, I think there's something about this game Where the way it works is you have to try and burst the first ever charge ball that you uh, place down in order to do the biggest combo but I don't really understand how to do that. I think you're, yeah, I think like I placed the first ever one right here. So if I was able to access that one, I think I'd be able to uh, let it rip and uh, get a really nice uh, combo going off. But you know what? Honestly, this, especially for the beginner levels that we're going to be playing now, because we're on level one right now. Uh, look at this. Yeah, see, so that, that right there was a punch. So that means that person that I'm playing against, who's a computer, uh, I got slapped by a little mini charge punch uh, from him. So who is Dr. Juro? Yep. So I am going to crush his skull in uh, once I finish this combo. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, because as you can see, I have an insane amount of charge balls. They do not burst upon uh, being... Uh, stacked on top of each other. They only burst once you shoot a non-charged ball at them I'm just gonna continue charging until my entire board is full and then I believe once I let it rip That is pretty much going to be a victory for me uh, here on this board. I hope uh, obviously the way you lose is uh, By this thing hitting the bottom uh, You know what? I think it's about time to let it rip once I get a red piece because I am gonna try and kind of finish up that combo uh, <clears throat> Hang on one second. I need to concentrate uh, okay, here's my red piece. Let's uh, let's try and do that. Pow, 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 pow! There goes my entire board. Uh, so yep, and you see his board filled up right here with a big punch that I just threw his way. Obviously, this is an insta kill. I actually don't know how to insta kill in Rumble. Uh, I'm a lot worse at Rumble than I am at sword fighting because at sword fighting, like you guys have seen, I actually am aware of what it takes to toss a giant sword down the middle and completely rail the opponent. Also, after uh, killing all of this stuff, I like after shooting off my very first combo, I'm really unclear on how to begin building the next combo uh, because like my entire board is full and I kind of don't feel like building another combo. So usually after I let it rip, like let my big boy combo rip the first time, I just kind of keep playing and wait until the other person to die while trying to survive myself. As you can see, his board is almost full over there. So that's uh, that's a good deal. Uh, let's, let's clear all of this. Let's clear all of this. Uh, psh, okay, place that there. Hit this here. Boom, boom, boom. Come out, come out. He's, he's almost dead. Uh, Rumble is an interesting game. I prefer sword fighting because it's a little bit more exciting. Uh, obviously, Rumble is pretty sweet too once you get to the higher levels. Ye be the victor! Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> uh, obviously, Rumble gets a little bit more exciting as well once you get to higher levels. Currently, we're at two knockouts, which pretty, just, pretty much just means level two. Uh, as you saw in sword fighting, it got a lot more difficult after we beat the first couple of levels. The first couple of levels were very, very easy to beat. Um, so yeah, I do like rumble, uh, but I don't like it nearly as much as sword fighting because in sword fighting, I actually know what I'm doing. One of the things about the Puzzle Pirates game is that uh, they never really tell you how to score well. Like in the sailing game, nobody ever tells you like score these doubles and triples and all of that stuff to actually get a high score. You kind of have to play this game for quite a long time to actually, or read all the forums and stuff like that online to actually figure out what it is that does uh, good scoring. In fact, there was once a competition in the forums for this game, uh, uh, like for Puzzle Pirates, where somebody was giving away 3 million coins uh, to try and figure out some nuance of, uh, of this Rumble game, something to do with points and scoring and strategies and all that stuff. So like people are willing to give up pretty big money uh, to people who are able to figure out nuances of this game that could potentially pose an advantage to players uh, in the future. Just because they're curious about how the game works and they're curious about you know in improving their skill. And that's, like I said before, that's what's really unique about this game is that uh, it's very skill-based. And this sword fighting and rumble thing, I've been playing against computers because uh, I it, it's a little bit more predictable. It's a little bit more interesting to me. Like I want to gain trophies and I want to kind of brush up my sword fighting and rumble skills. But later in this game, oh geez, well, Yep, uh, that was a very weak punch. Damn, we're getting wrecked uh, starting off on level uh, two, I guess. Wow. Uh, anyway, later on in this game,
uh, when we play some voyages and pillages and where we have to actually play against other players, the sword fighting and rumble stuff, uh, that's when it gets a little bit more interesting uh, because you can play against people for money. You can like wager money. Uh, it's just kind of like like a real life pirate would be like, yo, I bet I can beat you for like 10 pieces of eight or 10 coins or whatever. And uh, uh, yeah, and then, and then you start a sword fight in a bar. You start like a big brawl and uh, whoever wins, wins the money. That's just kind of what this is trying to emulate. Uh, and so, yeah, <clears throat> so the, the, the idea here is that ultimately after practicing here on all these bots, uh, and after getting all these trophies that we want to get, cause they're pretty sweet to display on our profile page, uh, we can move on to fighting against other players and potentially even win some money for ourselves <clears throat> over there where money will become a little bit more interesting. I'm starting to lose my voice again here. What happens with these game recordings is that very quickly I begin to lose my voice and start having to clear my throat. So I apologize for any coughing or throat clearing that happens. Uh, this person person is bombarding me man so many punches and stuff being thrown my way am i am i just not doing so hot i, I guess i'm not the the first one we played with the one knockout <clears throat> i sent a pretty big punch his way this time around i'm not really sending that big of a punch along but uh i should i should still win this is level two level two should not be difficult to uh, beat also did you see that so when when, when i break off uh you know a piece like that and, and stuff falls down in uh down into the board that like sprinkles onto my opponent's board uh and sends stuff his way let, let, let me see if i can find an example here real oh my god that was a mistake let me see if i can find an example here re real quick um <clears throat> let's see so we burst this uh this board is really bad right now for those kind of uh drops let's see put that there put that there okay maybe if i can pop this orange here maybe uh let me see hang on Nope, I, I'm not even paying attention. Now, now I'm determined to like show you guys what this looks like. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> I guess I'll show you guys in the next episode. We have successfully defeated 10 swords, one knockout, and then two knockouts. And I don't think we did any sailing in this uh, episode, but it's been a very successful episode. Nevertheless, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully your day is going fantastically well. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode of Puzzle Pirates. Hardy, har, har. Peace out.